My name is Engineer Ajibo Yolua Gwenga. I'm the Acting General Manager of Transmission for Lagos Region. Thank you. Can you please list uh, the major projects uh, executed in Lagos Region from the COVID-19 era till now? The major project we have done is just to make sure we heal the evacuation of power, like the installation of breaker, relocation of indoor that are giving us problems to outdoor. Those are the ones that we did recently during this era of COVID. So as we are talking to you, we have completed some breaker installation, 330 kV and 132 kV. And some are still ongoing at Egwe, as of today. At uh, Oworoshoki substation, we are trying to relocate the, 30, uh, the 33 kV window that has been giving us problem outside, so that the ease of maintenance will be there, and evacuation will be seamless. Thank you. Sir. Are there still some uh, ongoing projects in your region? No, the capital projects are not ongoing now. We have finished most of them before the COVID, but we are preparing to receive funding or direct work from the corporate headquarters soon. Sir, um, how is the TCN Lagos Regions interface with the And It's very cold there. We have been having a series of meetings and we have scheduled meetings every quarterly with both ECO, Ikeja, and uh, Ibadan also. So that is where we trash out some gray issues that are not well pleasant to both of us. But at the same time, we have been working without problem. Thank you, sir. Can you please, in a layman's sense, explain how bulk electricity was transmitted to Lagos region? And how safe is delivered to the disco or the uh, It is very, in a layman language, let me put it that way. We receive power from generation, not necessarily a particular one because it's a grid. TCN as a whole is a grid. We receive power on the grid from our major substation, that is 330 kV substation. So from there, we step it down to 132. We now evacuate it to what we call 132 kV, 33 kV substation. At 33 level is where we have interface with the disco. And that is how we now weigh the power directly to the disco. It's either they take it on 33 or they step it down in their injection substation to 11 kV and feed more customers. So that is the way. So, in the actual, in the, if I understand what you're saying, power goes to the Disco, you get power from the Jenkos. Yes. From generation, comes to transmission, they go to the, the Jenkos. Uh, the discos. So the fire comes and gets their power from discos, so, respective um, discos. Are there plans to further expand, expand the capacity of transmission in Lagos region? Yeah. Okay. Can you please share more that? We have ongoing plan, substation and lines. We are in top gear to secure the release of the land for the 330 kV, so-called EPE. That is an expansion project. We have another double cycle line coming from a motor shop to EPE. We have a proposed substation that is going to be 2 by 300 MVA capacity at Likosi. And another line will go from that place. We have another plan for the extension around MFM for another 330 kV substation. As we're talking to you, we have a lot of expansion in pipeline. Some have reached the stage of even deploying transformer. We are planning at Okiaro to increase the capacity by 2 by 60 MV, 132 kV, 33 kV power transformer. So, so and so. Like you know, recently, we completed, uh, we completed uh, this island, Ilashe. So that is part of it, Egbin. We have expanded Egbin. You know Egbin used to be 331, 32, but we have put 33 there now to feed the host community and the environs. So a 30 MV is there. And another plan is on the pipeline to extend that Egbin with either 100 MVA or 60 MVA. So to cater 
for the community and the environs also. So those are the proposed plan. Some, when we call them plan, we are actually actualizing. Like we are saying now, the Maryland substation will be rehabilitated. We are going to replace all the transformer there with 100 MVA each. It's not going to go to 3 by 100 MVA. So things like that are going on. At Egbin, as I've told you, we have, as at now, 2 by 150 MVA. Plan is on the way to redeploy another 300 MVA. The plate is there to the place so that we can increase capacity in that axis. Okay, Aro is also there. We are planning it also. Can you please talk about the whole Atlantic project? How far? Yes. Ah, it's going on fine as planned. The Lagos State has really assisted us. The marking of the right of ways have been done by Lagos State. So we are at the stage and the studies have been concluded. So by the time we are delaying the demolition so that as the, we are doing demolition, we are doing erection. We don't want to do demolition and leave it for some time for people to approach again.